Hello everyone, my name is Isaac from the Innovation Consortium. And today I would like to share with you about a water level, what it is and how to use it and maybe to differentiate it with other types of levels. Uh, with me here on the table, I'm having this, in, uh, this tube, a clear tube as you can see. But within this tube, there is, there is that liquid inside and the liquid is, is just water, the normal water we use. Uh, so to explain more about a water level, it's one of the ancient ways or the first ways people used to get levels and it's the first instrument which people used to get levels before the spirit levels and other precise leveling instruments. So basically, <coughs> to briefly explain about how it works, as you can see the water inside the level, water inside the tube, however much you lift this other tube, as you can see clearly, as I lift this, even this water will be moving up to get the level, to get the level of the water actually. So whenever I lift up this water, also this one will get up to get the level of the, 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 the tube. So the working principle of the water level is it's water inside the clear tube uh, which helps us to get the level. So if I'm to demonstrate uh, practically how a water level works, uh, I'll put this tube To this table as you can look on closely i put the level of the water flashing at the top edge of the table as you can see so basically you concentrate on these two levels of the water on this end and this extreme end so as you can see here clear the water the water level is showing that this table is horizontal to the surface so basically when you see this side of the tube and the other end of the tube whenever they are both flashing you just know the component is on the level but take for instance if I'm to park one end of the table uh, with a piece of wood still bring on my tube uh, I place it on the edge of the table as you can look on uh, if you look closely uh, the water here is below the edge but the other end it's above almost an inch Above the table, meaning the table is not horizontal to the surface, it's having a slope basically. So, the two extreme ends of the tube, the clear tube, uh, they are the ones which give us the level of any object to the surface, as you can see practically. So, basically, that's how the water level works it's just water in a transparent tube which helps us to get the level of a certain object or be it a machine uh, if you're setting maybe if you're doing some some civil work maybe construction you can use the same uh, to get the level of your house maybe uh, to briefly differentiate it with the, the spirit level for a water level you cannot determine the vertical the vertical level of any object but for a speed level as as we had mentioned earlier on for it you can find the vertical on the 45 the 45 you can get it on a speed level but for for a water level you only have the horizontal level so basically it's limited to only the horizontal leveling 
So briefly, that's how the level works. Alumena is up from the Innovation Consortium. Thank you very much.